My name is Morris Pearl. I'm the chairman of a group called the Patriotic Millionaires. We created the group in 2010 to try to convince the president and President Obama to let the Bush tax, tax cuts expire just for the wealthiest. Um, at the time, he compromised. He thought we were kind of dorkish for attacking the left, or at least that's what his staff said. But over time, they realized we were actually helping them. Um, by 2012, he invited us to the White House to stand with him and get his famous Buffett Rule speech. And since then, we've expanded the group's mission to basically explain to the American people that growing inequality, the gross inequality that we see, is not good for rich people either. Investors and business people don't want a country with a few rich people and lots of poor people. We don't want to have low-wage places to start businesses. We want to start businesses in high-wage places where people can make enough money to afford to buy stuff from us and help us get even richer. So that's why we're a group of patriotic millionaires, wealthy business people and investors, who are trying to um, make the point that it's actually good for wealthy business people and investors to have a better, more prosperous, more equal, more just nation. And here at Netroots, we're doing a uh, session tomorrow morning, Friday, 9 o'clock, it's going to be live streamed, about how, is this time right now sort of the 1964 moment for the Democrats? Are we like Goldwater was in 1964, um, hopefully primed to take over the country over the period of the next 16 years? I'll tell you, I did very well in my time. Partially because I had parents, my wife had parents, they all had parents who started businesses in the 1920s and 1930s, back when really only white people could start businesses and have successful careers. And they saved up enough money that I was able to go to college, that I was able to go to university, and so was my wife paid for by the money that was saved up by my grandparents and my parents over time. And we still and we have money that our kids are able to go get education without a penny of student debt, without having to get part-time jobs very much. And so we're able to take advantage of all that our nation has to offer. And yeah, I worked in the financial services business for a few years. I retired three or four years ago when I was 54. And I do policy work full-time now, but basically we're taking advantage of what happened by the people who came the couple generations before us, and that's an advantage that a lot of people don't have. A lot of people, people of color, people of immigration, people who are immigrants, don't have the parents and grandparents who are able to save up money to pay for them, so they have a much more stressful situation trying to just trying to just tread water, much less get ahead in the world. And that's why I realize that it's, I'm not rich because I was brilliant or work hard. I mean, yeah, I think I was smart and I do work hard. But a lot of it was because I was had the good fortune or good judgment or good whatever to be born in the right place at the right time. We wanted to call out the fact that it's patriotic to pay taxes. So many on the right are calling themselves, we taxpayers don't want our money wasted on things. Well, it's proper to be a taxpayer. It's not right to brag about how little taxes you pay or that you don't pay taxes. Paying taxes is what Americans do to be part of the society that we have. And so, yeah, we think that the that paying taxes is the patriotic thing to do. And people should be proud of being taxpayers, as some people are. I think what people need to know about millionaires and patriotism is that most wealthy people understand that being part of our society means being part of a society that has lots of middle class people, not a society with a lot of poor people and a few rich people. That's what a lot of people understand. The people who don't are a small number of people who extract minerals from the earth, coal and oil and whatever, and instead of selling stuff to people. And they've somehow taken over so much of the national merit narrative. They're tr they've convinced half the country that being greedy is good, and the government is the problem, as Ronald Reagan said in, on, when, you know, many years ago. So I think we have to explain to people that that's not the case that being patriotic means being part of society. Our 
states will create as commonwealths because our forefathers who created our country knew that we needed commonwealths to make our country work. That's why we're in the common. That's why we're in the Commonwealth of Virginia, Massachusetts, and so many other states. Well, we think it's good to be rich. I'd, I'd like everybody to be able to make more money. I think millionaires are great people. The ones that you know, most of the ones, who, all the ones that I know, are good people. We have nothing against rich people. Being rich is great, but being rich has an obligation to pay your fair share of the taxes. It means that rich people should pay more taxes than poor people, not less taxes. We should have lower tax rates for working class people who actually work for a living, and higher tax rates for people like me who don't even work at all, but earn a very large income through investments. I think it's ridiculous that people who don't work but who have the good fortune of being rich have lower tax rates than people who have to work for a living.